She's the mom from Brooklyn that all the New York is talking about. Joanne tells it like it is. She's thinking what I'm thinking. And now Joanne is going to answer your questions the way only she can. Dear Joanne, what's the best trick to do to get kids to behave? The best trick I know to get kids to behave is you got to talk to them like you would talk to a friend. All these mothers are whacking their kids, screaming at their kids. Kids don't want to listen if you yell at them. If your husband came home in the, at night and you said, hey, you idiot, you didn't throw the garbage or you didn't pick up your shoes, is he going to listen? He'll just walk right past you like you don't exist. That's how you got to treat your kids, the way you want to be spoken to. Dear Joanne, who should dole out the punishment, the mom or the dad? That's ridiculous. They used to tell us years ago, wait till your father gets home. Who the hell is taking the care of the kid all day? If you're with the kid all day, you're going to wait till your husband comes home and then tell him, dole out this punishment? It's not like giving the kids the vitamins in the morning. Here, it's your turn to give them the vitamin today. If they do something bad and you're the one that's there, dole out the punishment. Dear Joanne, how do you get your child to stop talking back to you? They should have never talked back to you in the first place. Oh, it's cute. He's two years old. He told me to go f myself. Isn't he adorable? Look, Mary, he called me an asshole. No, you got to nip it in the bud. When they're one, they're cute when they talk and tell you to go f yourself. But that's when you got to stop it. Don't let it happen. To make your meatball softer, I always add water. Then I mix. It's like strangling someone. So if you have anger issues, you could squeeze it all out on your meatballs. If you're pissed off at your husband, make believe this is what you want to do to him. It gets a lot of frustration out cooking. This is the reason I wear these gloves. Because with my nails, I'll be eating raw chopped meat the rest of the day, no matter how much you wash your hands. Punish with food. You don't want to starve your family. They got to eat. I'll punish them in other ways. I won't do their laundry, and they'll have to wonder why they don't have clean underwear in the drawer, or they have one sock left, or there's no towels to dry themselves. They'll have to use a paper towel. So I never punish with food. Food they get. Filthy, dirty clothes, wash your own. That's my punishment. My mother would tell me, don't leave the block. We do all get on our bikes and drive to the World's Fair and drive around, and I wouldn't come home till later on She'd be waiting with a shoe in her hand, and boy, oh boy, shoes look much better and feel much better on your feet than on your head. Dear Joanne, cursed jar or mouth washing? First of all, a kid, if he curses, how, where's he gonna get the money but from your wallet to put in the curse jar? So you're only paying yourself. I believe you get a little ivory soap, it's bitter, it's tangy, it serves two purposes. You put it on his tongue, he'll never forget the feeling. And at night, instead of giving a bath, you just put a, put a little water there and bubbles will come out of his ass. He'll never curse again. There's a lot of questions today about disciplining your kids. All you want at the end of the day is for them to know you love them as much as they love you.